<laughs> Resident Evil Season 1 just landed on Netflix and has already been making a splash. But will a Season 2 of the series based on the Capcom game be released or not? When it was announced that Netflix was working on a Resident Evil series, nobody thought it would be as well received as it was. Though critics and fans seem to agree that it's the best adaptation of Resident Evil to date. But where there are fans, there are also detractors. Some have been calling the show disappointing and we're expecting more from the new Netflix series. That said, there are still some people that are interested in knowing whether a Resident Evil Season 2 will ever be released on Netflix. If you've been here to small screen before, you know that we like to keep our videos short and to the point. So if you like that about us, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. So, the viewership numbers on the first season of Resident Evil were pretty high. 988,000 US households watched the premiere of the series during its first four days of streaming on Netflix. Moreover, Forbes added that the series ended up debuting in the second spot on Netflix's top 10 and then climbed to the top spot in just a few days. It ended up dethroning Stranger Things Season 4 in the process, which is no easy feat. The series continues to be popular as it holds the number one spot as the most streamed show on Netflix. We're number one top 10 in over 92 countries, and held the number 2 spot on the global top 10 on Netflix during its first 4 days. The new Resident Evil series was created for Netflix by Andrew Dabb, and so far there's been no official announcement for a second season by Netflix. Dabb's previous work includes writing for the television show Supernatural. He was actually quite an important writer on the show and even became the show's co-showrunner for its final 4 seasons. Guy's good. Despite not having an announcement from the streaming platform, Dab's not been quiet about wanting to do more seasons of the new Resident Evil series. In an interview with ComicBook.com, he explained, The games are our backstory. Everything that happened in the game exists in this world. So like, the village is there. We might not get there till season 5, but it's in our world. Dab also noted in an interview with Screen Rant that the second season would 100% feature an appearance from Ada Wong, a popular character with fans of the video game series. So what could happen in a potential second season of Resident Evil on Netflix? Honestly, your guess is as good as ours. However, it does seem as though Ada will be a factor in somehow. It would be cool to see the second season take place in just one location, or bring back some of the original characters such as Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Why not set the second series in an abandoned mansion, or maybe a police station just like the first two games? We here at Small Screen think that that would be really fun and more in keeping with the tone of the original games. It could also be scary as hell setting the whole season in one location and having Chris or Jill have to battle horrific monsters, whilst having basically no ammo and no hope of survival. One thing's for sure is that they eventually better get to Resident Evil 4's village storyline sooner or later. That is just perfect for an amazing season. Plus, bring on the merchant! Welcome! What are you buying? Uh... Do you think Netflix should greenlight a Resident Evil Season 2? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, we do read all of them. And as always, remember to like, subscribe, and crack that notification bell to keep up with our news and exclusives. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!